Welcome back to this new video of Tech Press, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you in a very easy way how to get started well to have your absolutely big screen Android applications in your PC. You can absolutely can, and this comprehensive guide will be showing you a few methods that run Android apps and games into your computer. So why run Android applications into PC? Basically, these are tons of great reasons to uh, run Android application to PC, gamers can enjoy a more immersive experience with better controls, applications users can multitask more efficiently, and some applications simply work better with a keyword and mouse. So plus, if you have a powerful PC, you might have a smoother performance than on your phone. The most versatile way to run Android applications on your PC is by using an Android emulator. So these programs create a virtual Android environment on your computer. Some of the top emulators is, for example, there's the BlueStacks. Now, I don't know why it is not appearing in here, but you can just look out for it into the Google section here. So BlueStacks is known for its user-friendly interface and strong gaming features with excellent keyboard and mouse mapping. You can use the BlueStacks to download, to download it so and try out applications inside your PC uh, or your Mac even though. Now there's another one called the LD Player. Now the LD Player, this is another great option for gaming, often praised for its performance and customization options. You can try this out totally for free. There's a pre uh, requisite here, but basically you just need to just to create an actual account. So if this one hasn't worked for you yet, you don't have to worry about it. And lastly, there's the Google Play games for PC. This is a beta mode. I don't know if this one is now enabled yet. So you can try it out to look out for it. For example, the Google Play games PC. This beta mode usually isn't enabled yet, but still you can play games across your device. You can explore Play mobile and PC optimized games across the mobile, the tablet, and the PC devices. So to get started, just hit into download with the beta mode, and the application that you use into your phone, you can be sent it directly into or through your computer. And both elements actually work really fine. So the general process for using an emulator is to download and install your chosen emulator from its official website. Now this is where you can uh, search for and install your favorite applications and games just like on your phone. So the emulators often provide options to customize controls, the screen resolution, uh, screen resolution and performance settings. There's another method that can be really helpful for you if you're aiming for. So for example, I'm going to just go this open any tab and use the Windows subsystem or system for Android. So if you're using Windows 11, you can have more integrated option called the Windows subsystem for Android. This features allow the Windows to natively run Android applications. So ensure the Windows subsystem for the Android is enabled in your system. You might need to install it through the Microsoft Store by searching for uh, Amazon App Store, right? So you can see it here. I'm gonna go for Microsoft Store and here it is the application in my case i think we already have this one and it should be appearing here into the search bar if you don't you can just go for example android and here is to open my android configuration of my mobile so the amazon app store provides a selection of android application optimized for windows and you can look for it in here for example here is mobile linked and I opened the link to the mobile so I can just have more control of my mobile inside my computer. And basically what you just need to do is just to have your Microsoft account into both your computer and into your PC. And I help to start. And here's what I can see, photos, application, messages, and even phone calls. And the third method is to use, for example, let's go for Microsoft Store. I'm gonna go here. Now let's see if we have now the Amazon App Store. The Amazon App Store is where you can have the phone link where, as I just told you, it's exactly the same thing, but even the Amazon App Store can be have that availability in here. So in my case, I'm gonna to try to aim for into Google, for example, Amazon App Store. Here it is. Now this one usually is now available only inside uh, some specific regions, but still you can try to aim it for and see if this one works for you. Let's try with something simple. For example, the chest. I hit into install. 
add. And there we go. As you can see, we are now inside the actual game. And basically, we have to do absolutely anything else because now we are actually ready to play directly in here. So the last thing to do, I'm going to try to do exactly the same thing, but now with the emulator that we have just downloaded. Inside the emulator, I'm going to open this new tab that says System Applications and look out for the Play Store inside the actual emulator. And here is my game already been installed. And of course, it might be taking a few uh, minutes to get installed. And of course, but as you can see, it actually works and it does really, and it is actually really comfortable to be playing here into my PC. So which of these methods do you prefer for running Android applications in your PC? Do you have a favorite emulator or experience with the WSA? You can share your thoughts and tips in the comments below. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Tech Express for more tech guides and tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And well, hopefully all of this helped you. And well, see you next time.